YouTube, how the fuck you doing? Hey guys, it's Nate Tonight, I'm bringing a brand new video, and yes, if you guessed that we are going to be talking about controllers today, you are correct. In front of you, you have the Optic Gaming black and green controller, and then we also have the Optic Craft uh, white and green, one of my favorite color schemes. It looks amazing, but there are two key differences, one key difference uh, between the controllers. The black has the concave Xbox 360 controller stick, and then the white actually has the PS3 domed analog stick, which I've been using since Modern Warfare 3. And you're probably wondering why I'm showing these to you today, because yesterday I actually made the switch from the dome stick over to the Xbox 360 concave stick. And there's actually a funny story, because I've been playing Xbox 360 since 2007, and the entire time I used an analog stick with the concave shape. But in Modern Warfare 3, that's when uh, scuff controllers were becoming very popular. They were becoming more prevalent in the competitive community. And there was a lot of conver controversy behind it because a lot of people thought that it gave you an unfair advantage because of these paddles that are on the back. Because uh, the players that didn't have a scuff controller were struggling to jump shot or drop shot as easily as the users who are using scuff controllers. So when I went to a LAN in Chicago, um, one of my good friends, Curtis Stocks, uh, he was a part of Team Fear at the time, his name is APOC, he actually uh, gave me a scuff controller because I wasn't sponsored by them at the time. And, you know, some players have a lot of difficulty getting used to these paddles, but I did pretty well with it right off the bat. And I started using a scuff controller at an actual tournament. And the, the configuration that that controller that he gave me actually had the PlayStation 3 dome stick. And I, I had never used an Xbox controller with that dome stick, but, uh, you know, I, I did very well at that event. That's all I can remember about the event is I played extremely well. And uh, from then there on, all I used was a dome stick but in the, in the two years that I have been using this I, I had never had struggled as much as I have been lately on Call of Duty Ghost with accuracy because since I am using this dome stick there is a lot of free range of motion uh, you know you guys already know if that you've been using the concave that this is very tight this analog movement is very tight so that when you lock on to somebody with your aim it's gonna be very difficult for you to move your thumb and really start missing shots but if you are using a, a dome stick even though it, it allows you to be more intricate uh, are not intricate it allows you to be more accurate. You can thread the needle, so to speak, with your shots. It's uh, it allows you to really lock on and uh, you know hit those tight sniper shots that you need to hit. But one of the things that I've been struggling with, which is actually a no-no, is I move this analog stick way too much when I'm in a gun battle. What you really want to perfect is strafing back and forth with your movement and just you know letting this do its own job. You know, as soon as you lock on, let this analog stick guide your shot, your movement. It's called strafing. Uh, you know, it, it, this was very prevalent in Halo. You had to strafe your shots that you didn't miss. Uh, but like I said, I you know, bad habits die hard, and I just can't get myself to stop moving uh, my right analog stick when I shoot. So uh, you know, I talked about it with my teammates because you know, I I'll be the bigger man, and I'll admit that I have been missing my shots on Call of Duty Ghosts. And it's you know, it's just those one or two bullets that you miss that can really make you lose a gunfight. And when you're playing pro players and they are accurate as hell, uh, you cannot be missing shots. So yesterday, before our, our, our Winter League matches, I switched over to the concave stick and I started to warm up against bots. And one thing that I noticed right away was that I wasn't missing those crucial shots anymore because I wasn't uh, jerking this analog stick too much. So uh, if you were going to buy a scuff, let me tell you this right now. If you guys are struggling with your accuracy on a, on a whole nother level like if you have to drop your sensitivity down like to down down to two or one because you're having trouble uh hitting your shots i suggest you use the concave stick okay but if you're somebody who is a sniper or you pride yourself on hitting those long range shots i suggest using a a dome stick so that you can be more accurate at a longer range but for me who is at a close range where you don't want to move your analog stick that much, I suggest using the concave. And let me tell you guys, uh, scuff controllers with these paddles on the back make it so much easier to hit your shots. You know, you can jump shot and you can drop shot very easily with these. And then you could also, uh, like I said, uh, hit close range shots a lot easier with the concave stick and long range shots with the, uh, the dome stick. So uh, both of these, it really comes down to preference in my opinion. 
And if you are more of a casual gamer and you kind of see myself talking about controllers and hitting shots and how these analog sticks can really affect it, I can't find which way I need to go on this camera. Uh, but I kind of compare this to professional golfers switching their clubs and the series that they're using. You know, uh, I, I use Mizuno's. Uh, these are uh, popular uh, golf clubs. And uh, I actually forget the exact model, but professional golfers, they change the, the type of irons that they're using uh, every year. And uh, when new technology comes out for their, their woods and their drivers, uh, they'll change those too. So I really compare this to preference, what feels the best. And uh, that just goes to show you that these small changes to controllers can really change the outcome of your gameplay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you some insight as to what I'm using right now. Uh, you know, when, it, when I was a, a follower of Halo, I always loved to know what all the uh, professional Halo players were using. So I, I think equipment is really cool. So uh, just to remind you guys, uh, for scuff controllers like these, you can actually use the discount code NATESHOP for 5% off. And uh, that's going to carry on over to Xbox One scuffs. In a couple of weeks, they're going to have some announcements and some information all about the Xbox One scuffs. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And I hope this gave you uh, some more insight as to what will better your shot in-game. So thank you guys very much for watching and YouTube.